Good morning, everyone. Um, distinguished guests, uh, Professor Peter Coldrake, uh, Vice Chancellor of QUT, um, Rubina Xavier, Executive Dean of uh, the QUT Business School. Before I will ask the Vice Chancellor, and we had to wait a little bit for him, but he was waiting for you earlier um, today. Uh, I would like to say a few, word, a few words. My name is Uwe Dulek. Um, together with the ESA President Tim Wonoff and uh, Vice President Julian Pierce, um, we were asked to chair this conference this year. And um, maybe the best story I can tell about it was uh, last Friday, one of our new master's students talked to me, what a great week we have ahead of us. On the one hand, we have the Greek crisis. On the other hand, we have the Conference of Economists at QT, and there's a chance to meet many great economists um, for us. So I feel this summarizes a little bit what ACE is about. Uh, it's a place to discuss economic challenges with um, colleagues from academia as well as from business and government. And we can discuss methodological and theoretical advances that may provide the answers to these challenges. Um, the program and steering committee for this conference put a lot of work into this to actually attract academics as well. As real world economists, uh, we have over 520 registrations uh, for this year's conference. So a lot of people, I think, are still on the way to join us. Um, and to do so, we added a PhD day that's already passed, um, but you can have a look at the program. We extended on the policy panels, and uh, we have we added professional um, development sessions. To keep in the spirit, uh, to keep with the spirit of reconcilia reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the Turbul, Jagera, Kabi Kabi, and Ginny Barra people as the traditional owners of the lands where QT now stands and recognize that these have always been places of teaching and learning. I wish to respect, uh, I wish to pay respect to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and acknowledge the important role that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people continue to play in the QT community. This type of conference is not possible, at least not affordable, without a lot of support. I would in particular like to acknowledge um, the support of well, our platinum sponsors, Deloitte Access Economics and QUT. No, sorry, that were the diamond sponsors. I will also thank the uh, platinum sponsors, AGL, the Australian Government Treasury, Griffith University, QIC, Suncorp, and the University of Cle uh, Queensland. Without their support, I think it would be much harder to make this conference affordable, and we put in particular effort into making it attractive and affordable for PhD students to join us for this conference. Um, there are a lot more names that supported us. I should actually move on and that you can see them. Um, oh, the, um, there are a lot more names that, um, that sponsored and helped uh, with the conference. Um, and I thank all of them as well. Tim and Julian did a terrific job to raise all this support. I do have some housekeeping to do. Uh, bathrooms on this floor can be found behind the lifts, and that's the case for all levels in this building. In the case of an emergency, clearly um, recognizable fire warns will appear, and I would like to ask you to follow their instructions to ensure that we get, uh, all get out here safely. Uh, in case of any questions, you see people that wear these nice maroon shirts. I don't talk about tonight at the moment, but these are the people you can ask for advice um, if you have questions about the conferences. Um, and uh, finally, I would like to ask Peter to formally open um, the conference. Thank you very much. Thanks, Uwe. Um, good morning, everyone. When I did arrive at 10 past eight, I just knew it was too early. Uh, I'm not saying that that's a comment against uh, economists, um, but it did strike me as too early, particularly for those of you who um, are local and, have, um, and uh, have to deal with a late night tonight because of an idiosyncratic uh, characteristic we have here 
uh, in the form of a game of football. But I would like to welcome you all to um, QUT, welcome you to Brisbane for those of you who are visiting. And I'm looking forward to coming back and participating this afternoon in the session uh, on higher education deregulation, which has been a major issue um, of, um, of education economists, uh, as well as uh, of great interest in the political sphere in our country over the last, over the last year. Um, uh, there are very few, uh, there are very few vice chancellors who are economists in Australia at the present time. I did check this, um, but there was one who retired recently, and he was a very distinguished economist, and it was Ross Milbourne at UTS. And uh, when the global financial crisis struck, uh, many universities around the world took a bathing in terms of their investments. One university in Australia didn't lose any money. It was UTS. It had pulled out all its money out of investments and put them into cash. So I always thought Ross Milbourne, good economist, good politician as well. Um, but it is, as Uwe just said, an, an important uh, week for economists around the world with what's going on in Greece, which is taking all the attention. But I would have thought perhaps uh, what's going on in China might be um, of, greater, of greater impact. But it is interesting, isn't it, that one Greek finance minister uh, with academic training in Australia has been replaced by another Greek finance minister who's Oxford trained. Um, so you can't say that uh, economics is not uh, at front and centre in, uh, in terms of some of the things going on at the present time. But I would just like to say that it is, it is disappointing to see so few academic economists participating in the public debate on television and so on. Um, oh, well, well. I don't know you, but thank you. <laughs> um, I, th I, think, I think it's a, it's a real issue. When, when on, the, on the television news programs you have economists, uh, economists as, as commentators, they tend to derive from the banking sector. You don't see folk from the universities. I would, I would say a notable um, exception in this regard is Warwick McGibbon, who was a member of the Reserve Bank Board and who was an ANU economist. But there are very few. And, and uh, notwithstanding the perspectives, the different perspectives people might, might have, I think it's important that, that academic economists do contribute uh, in this fourth way to public dialogue in, your, in this country and in other countries and other jurisdictions that, that you folk here um, might derive from. So I, I, I provide that really by way of exhortation. I hope that your, um, I hope that your discussions here are very fruitful. Um, the QT Business School is very proud through the school to welcome you and the Executive Dean, Rabina Xavier, is here and I hope you have a very good time and if it is your wish and if you already have tickets, enjoy the football tonight. Thank you. <laughs>